The potential this legislation holds for our state is truly significant. The Marcella Shell Horizontal Well Act is the catalyst we need to launch new job opportunities throughout West Virginia. I'm proud to say that many of those jobs have already begun. This legislation will spur many more. At the same time, the Act provides clear permitting and regulatory rules for the industry to follow and the State Department of Environmental Protection to enforce. These rules protect the environment and give our surface owners more protection. New permit fees of $10,000 for the first well and $5,000 for each additional well on the path will provide sufficient funding to protect our lands and our waterways. The revenue generated by these new fees will also provide $2.4 million annually to the Department of Environmental Protection for additional and necessary field inspectors and permit reviewers. As much as we want jobs, we also want responsible job development, and that means protecting our environment and our citizens' rights. I'm proud to say the Marcellus Shell Horizontal Well Act is a great step in that direction by requiring permit applicants to meet particular criteria like obtaining a Division of Highway certification showing the applicant has agreed to repair state roads that are damaged during drilling, more notice for surface owners for surveying and drilling on their land. Also, operators must file a Class II notice on every permit. There's also a new DEP website, which will contain information regarding every horizontal well permit. This site will allow citizens to receive information regarding permits filed in their area. There's also increased well location setback provisions to make sure that our homes and streams are protected. Under the Act, permit applicants must also offer surface, line, surface owners compensation for anticipated damages on or before a permit is filed. Drillers will be required to report to the DEP details about additives used in their fracking fluids. These rules are how we protect the safety of our communities while inviting job opportunities. I want to applaud my colleagues in the legislature for working cooperatively to help West Virginia pass a good This bill is not perfect, and uh, but it is gives us a basic regulatory framework that we can move forward to maximize the opportunities in Marcella Shale to employ more people in this state and make sure our water is our protected, our environment is protected, that the people's rights to own all involved, the surface owners, etc., are given advance notice and have recognition, recognition of their rights as well. So but I give all the members of the legislature credit for saying this is too important. We've got to set this aside to help West Virginia to regulate this industry so that this industry has certainty when they start drilling in West Virginia and that our owners of the surface uh, rides also are protected and that the environment that we all have to live in is protected. We now have a foundation in which the industry knows the rules of which to operate under. The citizens know the rules of which they're to operate under. And as we go forward, if there's things that needs to be tweaked or changed, we will have the ability but we do have a foundation. Obviously, there's things left to do. Uh, we need, but, but those are recognized. Most people will recognize that we still need to do some more things for surface owners uh, and, and the environment. And we still have some things to do for industry. There, there are issues such as pulling and unionization that need to be discussed in the future, and, and we'll engage in those. But, uh, you know, once we got a bill out, we knew that it wasn't over. And I said then, and said it openly, that the only way we were going to get a bill out is if the governor stepped up and brought the parties together. And you've done that. And, and, and while, we, while I have to push a little bit from my side to protect our, uh, our product, uh, you, you had to bring everything together. And I give you all the credit in the world, along with Speaker Thompson and, and uh, uh, President Kessler and, and my co-chairman. So thank you so much for the opportunity.